Well, well. It sure is lively in here. Uh... S sorry ma'am. For what? It warms my heart to see young people such as yourselves opening up to each other. Not to mention, it's to the school's benefit for the instructors to all get along. It'll be important for our next set of field exercises too. I'm told the location will be more troublesome than last time. Huh? Sorry for the wait. Instructor Michael! Welcome back! Huh? You! What's going on? <laughs> Thank you, Chief Instructor. And of course you as well, Your Highness. We welcome you to our campus. Thank you for coming all the way here. My apologies for the sudden visit. I am Cedric Rice Arnor of Thor's Military Academy's main campus. However, I am not here today as a student. I come as a representative of the Imperial family to explain the current situation.
Ah, Reen. <laughs> it certainly has. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to the ceremony after the Northern War. I would have loved to see you receive your medal. Hearing Alfin recount it to me afterward only made me regret missing it all the more. Reen, might I have a bit of your time? I'd like to speak with you about a number of things. What's happened up until now and what will happen in the near future. I still clearly remember everything that happened back then. Becoming one with the Vermilion Apocalypse. Losing myself in it. I also remember piercing the Azure Knight's chest. Though they were on Duke Kayan's side, they still helped rescue me. Crow especially. He gave everything he had to open a path to me. And as a result, he... I've spent all this time cursing my weakness. If only I were stronger back then. If only I had unwavering strength that could stand up to anyone and anything. I wouldn't have been taken advantage of by Duke Kayan. I wouldn't have been absorbed into the Vermilion Apocalypse. Your Highness. But this year, I enrolled at Thor's. At the Reborn Main Campus. The academy that will shape its students and this country to become the true foundation of the world. Have you heard? I had the top score on the entrance exams. That's amazing, your highness. I'm sure the Emperor, the Empress, Prince Oliver, and Princess Alfin are all very proud of you. No, I still have a long ways to go. I must become even stronger. Strong enough so that no one will be hurt because of my weakness ever again. Yes. That's right. To that end, I must... Your Highness? So, Reen, after the next field exercises are over, how would you like to transfer to the main campus? What? The branch campus isn't a bad place per se, but it's still just a pale reflection of the real thing. The main campus has many promising students this year. In addition, the facilities have been improved, and the faculty is far superior. Between the two, which would be more suitable for Erebonia's savior, the Ashen Chevalier? <laughs> the answer should be clear, right? I... can't do that. Uh... What? I've been given the task of instructing the new Class 7. 
as well as all the other students of the branch campus. I only started two months ago. I can't abandon my duties here. So, I'm sorry, but I can't transfer. <laughs> Even at the request of the Crown Prince himself? Even by Your Majesty's Imperial Command. But, for example, if you wanted me to teach at the main campus in between my classes here, that I could do. I won't accept that answer. Prince Cedric? Kurt! Yuna and Altina, too. Ah, hello, Kurt. It's been some time. Uh... Nearly half a year, I believe. I'm glad to see you again. I never expected someone of your caliber to enroll at the branch campus. <clears throat> is... is that really you, your highness? Indeed. I've grown quite a bit recently, so it's no wonder you don't recognize me. It seems the past few months have been difficult for you. I imagine after so many years of loyal service, it was a shock for the Vanders to be dismissed as the Imperial family's guardians. I'm sure it was difficult for you to accept, but there was no need to withdraw from your enrollment at the main campus. But this is a perfect opportunity. You can transfer to the main campus along with Reen. I can even have you stationed as my guardian. It would be a simple matter for me to overrule the government's decision. <sighs> Hey, you! Who do you think you are? You're talking all big, but you're wearing a uniform just like ours. No, Yuna! That's the uniform of Thor's main campus. He is Cedric Rysay Arnor, the Crown Prince of the Empire of Erebonia. Huh? Oh, you don't recognize me? Are you a foreigner, then? Or perhaps from one of our newer provinces? Ah, uh -huh. and it's been a while since I've seen you too, Miss Black Rabbit. A major lecturer and Lord Rufus told me you were attending the school. Well, if Reen transfers to the main campus, I can accept you tagging along with him. Hmm? Transfer to the main campus? Wait, what? I'll return to hear your decision another day. I expect a favorable reply, Instructor Reen Schwarzer. just happened.